Hello, so in this video, I'm going to talk all about how to control your MIDI effects using macros for live performances or even production. So what I've done here is I've just created a simpler and inside the simpler, there is this sound and you can see here, I have put free MIDI notes in there. So let's just take a listen to it. There's a bit of a background beat going on as well. I've taken an arpeggiator and I've taken a style called chord trigger. So let's just hit play. Now let's just make the sample shorter. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And the other thing I've done is I brought in a, a chord mini effect it just gives you extra notes that need to be played alongside the notes you've got. So in this case here, we're going to try a few different things. We're gonna try negative 12 and then we'll try some positive numbers just to see how they sound. And the other thing I want to do is also try and play with the distance. So if we have a distance of zero, then that will completely change how it sounds. And now let's go down with the frequency. Okay, so we've got some really interesting things that we can do there. There's only really three or four things I'd like to change. And in a performance setting, I'd like to save this instrument. Way to do that is to select all by pressing Control A, press Control G to put them into a group. Then we're gonna click on this macro button here, and then we're gonna click on map. So basically everything that's green here, you can add to a macro knob and you can map. The first thing we wanna do is we want to map this chord. The second thing we wanna do is map the frequency. The other thing we wanna do is map the rate. Now it's sounds good at 1.8 and it sounds good at 1.16. And we'll go into here and we'll set the minimum rate to be 1.8 and the maximum rate to be 1.16. And we'll also map the distance. So I really want distance to start at zero and then I want it to end at 12. So we've only got that range to go with. So the next thing I'm gonna do is click on MIDI here. Everything goes purple. I'm gonna click on each button and I'm going to move each button on my controller. And now I can do any control I want. So for example, if I want to change the sync rate I'll just go onto my controller and change it. Now if I want to re now if I want to reduce the filter. thing is I feel like I need a bit of reverb as well so I'm just going to look for a reverb plugin we use hybrid reverb in there like this just going to map that dry wet for the reverb there to macro 5 right so now let's have another play <laughs> <laughs> 